that said, she looks absolutely amazing. Oh my god, look at her! And people were saying like, yeah, Shaylee speak, she's so hot. And I mean, she's so hot. Subscribe, please! Hi, YouTube! Welcome to another video. We just got the first part of the drip marketing for 1.3. And the first two characters that were actually announced are here. The first of them is called Yohu, and she seems to be a four star, as you can see here. There's only one, two, three, four little nodes, I guess. Um, here you go, a special edition of my poetry collection, hand signed by MOI! You're welcome! So she seems to be a poet, I guess? Um, Archive Yohu, a natural expert in identifying antiques, is a capable speaker with distinctive taste. When dealing with treasures and antiques, these jubilant dynamo cells into calm perception, tracing the distant past through their wrinkles and textures. Interesting, so we have another lolly character. I mean, let's be real, she's not really, like... She, she's not sexualized, thank god. Um, and she's a little bean. Obviously, with what we're seeing here, she has to be glacial, right? I'm not seeing any kind of, like, this... Like, I will say, like, a little eyebrows are kind of cute. They look like the little clouds. <laughs> I think that's adorable. I think she has an interesting haircut. I'm not sure what's that on the top here. Is that a hat? Is that her hair just being a weird bun and then she has, like, a... A coin adorned on top. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure, but she's cute. Um, what could she be? I don't know. I feel like there's multiple possibilities. Either she's going to be like a catalyst user, like a rectifier, right? And have some range ability. Or, I mean, there's always the potential they go with the chibi, but like super strong melee, right? So maybe she could use gauntlets. Maybe she could use a broad blade. Um, that's pretty much all I see. I mean, to be fair, I feel she could be like Chi Chi in Genshin, right? And use a sword as well. I feel like she could be anything, honestly, to be fair. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know. If I had to give it a guess right now... I mean, she has those gloves with the ice on her... Like, see her fingers here? And I can't, to me, that kind of means like there's something important there. I mean, you could say the same with uh, Chang Li, right? She has the, 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 and she ended up using a sword. Uh, I would say maybe Gauntlet or... We don't have a spear, right? So I'm going to say Gauntlet or Sword. Wh what just came out? We had broad blade and sword. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go and say gauntlet. I don't know. I feel like she's not gonna be rectifier, so I'm gonna say gauntlet or sword. Uh, so there it is. Uh, she's gonna be the next four star. So obviously you can probably pick her up on one of the banners. Uh, since she's been drip market first, I assume she's gonna be phase one, but that obviously is subjected to change, uh, or maybe they're just pranking us. Uh, but that would be my thought right now. I think her design is pretty cute. She seems to have like some fluid thing in the back. Uh, it's kind of interesting to have a, a poet kind of character and that's like well, very well versed in antiques and stuff. Makes me wonder if she is older than she looks. You know, the usual, oh, she's a lolly, but she's 5,000 years old. Um, also, interestingly enough, what's in the back here? It seems like a, a, like a roll, maybe for some scroll or something like that. It doesn't look like the usual gourd, so I wonder what's going on with this, right? And uh, apart from that, I kind of like the design, like on our hairband here. It looks like a some kind of like intricate pattern there that you can see here as well on our uh, sleeveless jacket, whatever this is. So overall, I think the design is pretty cute actually. I kind of like it. Um, if I can get a copy of here, I'll be very happy. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, as for the second character that was drip marketed, and this is the one that has me the most excited. Look at her! The shorekeeper! Okay, before I do that, here it says Swang Long. Okay, so she's from the usual Huang Long, but this, she is from the Black Shores. And she's the shorekeeper, so I assume that right now she's probably low-wise. She has to be the current leader, right? If she's called the shorekeeper. Or she's the guardian. She could be like the, the big, the strongest person there that like protects them or something i'm not too sure 
that said, she looks absolutely amazing. Oh my god, look at her! And people were saying like, yeah, Shaylee speaks, she's so hot. And I mean, she's so hot. But right after her, well, not right after because we're getting 1.2, right? But in 1.3, we're getting this unit, this absolute master peak. Yeah, it's not a masterpiece anymore, it's a master peak. Oh god, look at her. The shorekeeper, this name sits me well enough. It aligns with my purpose and drive. They only exist because of you. So I assume she's speaking to us here. And so she's the shorekeeper. The shorekeeper of the Black Shore is a mysterious divine being. Divine. Interesting. So that makes me wonder, is she... It says divine. Is she on the same level as a sentinel like Jue? And because she's talking to us, like, I only exist because they only, my purpose and drive only exist because of you. And we know that Jue was considering us their master. So is this another divine being that is working for us? Because we know as a protagonist, we were members of the Black Shore at some point in time. Uh, governing the essence of aloofness emerges in response to your summon. Having spent eons in guardianship, the first stirrings of emotion and desire awaken within her heart, fostering a firm determination to connect with the world and with you. I want to connect with her too, insane. Uh, so very interesting. What's very cool here is that we know that she's been alive for eons, which means that she potentially has a lot of information regarding us. And I feel like 1.3 might be a very, very big patch when it comes to narrative for the protagonist, we are going to learn a lot about ourselves. Um, at least that's what this gives me, because obviously she knows us and she serves us. So I feel like we're finally going to know what the heck is going on. I'm very, I'm really, really looking forward to uh, having access to the Black Shores and learning more uh, about them and about us, obviously. She looks amazing. Um, so we can see she has like a butterfly here, but the most important thing to me is over there. Because this non- this does not seem to be a natural butterfly. This seems to be like an image that is projected from her. So it makes me wonder if she's able to summon a butterfly or maybe transform into a butterfly. Um, I really don't know. I like like the constellation, the stars, the, the starry sky in like her shawl or whatever it's called. And overall, she, yeah, she has like butterfly aesthetic. Like it's very floaty. She's very pretty, holy crap. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that mark here in between her booba is crazy. Uh, I, I actually really like her design. Um, I don't know if that's like my favorite design, but it's definitely up there. Um, I, I think she could easily contend with the likes of um, Yin Li and Jin Shi and Chang Li, for example. I really, really like her. And now, in terms of, like, what vibe she gives me, honestly, I'm having a hard time not thinking of Rectifier for her. Um, I feel with, like, her look, I feel like she's more of a long-range character rather than a melee range. Um, so I could see her being a Rectifier. What is... What kind of, like, gets me here is that I feel like, in my opinion, she could either be Glacial or maybe Spectral because her outfit has a lot of white. Um, and the problem we have here is that if she's Glacial, I feel like she's gonna be a healer, rectifier, but if she's Spectral, I'm having some issue imagining that she's going to be a healer, Spectral, considering we have Verena. Now, it's been three patches, maybe they intend to just power creep Verena entirely right now, um, but it, to me, it would make more sense if she's Glacial, that she would be like a damage dealer, or maybe like a coordinated attack kind of character. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Anyway, I think she's absolutely amazing. I would definitely want to pull for her. I'm kind of heartbroken because I wanted to make sure that I'm saving for Camellia. But if Camellia is the second character of this uh, version, 1.3, right? It's going to be really tough to pull for both. But I'm going to try my best. So overall, I think both characters look really good. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to, to, to getting them for sure. I'm going to try to get both. Um, so yeah, good times. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, subscribe, like, all the good good. If you don't, um, I'm gonna kiss your dad. <laughs>